House Minority uh, in Parliament is accusing the police of covering up the case of 500 missing excavators. Spokesperson on Mines and Energy, Adams Mutawakilu, is questioning why the police is silent six months after Environment Minister Professor Frimpong Boateng disclosed that about 500 excavators seized from illegal mining operators had gone missing. He alleges the police will never be able to get to the bottom of the issue because some NPP officials are responsible for the missing excavators. He says a future NDC government will investigate and prosecute those responsible, including Professor Frimpon Boateng. The police will not be able to investigate because the 500 excavators were actually shared among ministers, uh, government appointees, and party apparatchiks. So the police is being asked to investigate excavator that has been taken by the government appointees and what have you. They, they def definitely there will not be but a report for us. the police remains an independent uh, Who told you the police remain independent? When the former IGP was speaking for the government, didn't you hear? Calling people to tell them that don't expose the government. Because if you expose the government, it won't be bad. Is that what an I, uh, the, the, sorry, not the IGP, the, the woman who was appointed under President Nana Kufuado, the CID, CID boss, boss, CID boss I'm talking about. So, so, so the police is never independent. Two, the police cannot investigate excavators that were stolen by government appointees. And the minister has promised several times they will be retrieved, and as we speak, they, they have not been retrieved. And that is why President Mama has made it clear that when voted to power, he will investigate, retrieve this excavated, and give it back to the owners. He will also set up a board to manage this small-scale mining. And that is the way to go. And to ensure that he resolves these people to be able to do legal, properly manage uh, mining in this country. And, and for you, then what happens to those alert party individuals who are behind some of these that is why, the of that is why the beyond retrieving that is the and giving them back to that them. is why the first thing is to investigate so definitely when you investigate punitive measures will come out so you are likely to see prosecutions here definitely definitely people I, people will be jailed for 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 robbing others in the sake of fighting galamsey and worsening the galamsey situation in this country the galamsey situation now is worse than before Possibly including the minister himself, Professor Fimpomat, who disclosed the he confessed. 500. He confessed. And he himself has a company that is into small-scale mining. And we'll do the proper investigation on that as well. Nobody will be left out. President Mama will ensure that the right thing is done. There is transparency and accountability and respect to these missing excavators. Chinese Square visited a large tract of land where several of the excavators were packed after they were seized and has filed this report. Galamse has hit the country very hard. In some communities, water bodies and very viable land have been destroyed by the operation of Galamse. And so I'm currently here around Adenta from Medina Maya Hot heading toward Ashalibuche where excavators have been packed here. They were seized as part of the anti-Galamse anti campaign task force headed by the Operation Vanguard, uh, which was a body of the police and the military. These excavators have been here for over eight months now. Residents around have been reporting to us. They've been telling us that they, they've heard stories that people have been coming around midnight, for instance, and stealing parts of this. The rains have been falling. The sun has been shining. And still, these excavators have been here. The excavators are rusting away, and currently, there is very little information on what exactly the state intends to do with them. I mean, of course, it may also be recalled a few months prior to today, the saga of the missing excavators. It was said that over 500 excavators seized had gone missing. Up to date, there is no information on their whereabouts. It became a hot political matter in town where the NDC flag bearer and former president John Damani Mahama promising to locate these excavators and return them to what he described as their rightful owners 